Right, who's up for a Euro paper tour? Me too. The Champions League group stage is ending this week in dramatic fashion and we've got an awful lot to talk about, but more on Man United in a minute. We're going to begin with a little Swiss side that could basel themselves, this team of 11 cantoners who on Wednesday became the first Swiss side in the last 16 of the Champions League, driving their nation cuckoo. Here come the headlines. Blick, first of all. Hammer, they say, hitting the nail on the head, really. All Switzerland celebrates the miracle of Basel, says the paper. All Switzerland being, in this case, a politician, a chemist, and, oh, look, the lead singer of the rock band Crocus. You know, to rock or not to be. That was them. Anyway, possibly confused by the sight of a red-faced old man whose work is currently going down the chute, they declare, today is Christmas. Bye-bye, Rooney, says Blick. Bye-bye, man, you. It's the greatest sensation in Swiss football history. Yes, really. Other headlines, Le Matin, with a uh, serving of Streller and Fry there. Uh, Basel does the impossible. And the local paper, the Basler Zeitung, with the wonder in the juggly, which you'll be relieved to know is the local name for the stadium. Well, well done to them and to their German manager, Heike Vogel, who's currently working more wonders with Basel than Jamie Oliver. The result, though, of course, not surprisingly, drawing reaction from all over Europe, after all, with City also going out on the same night. This really was the biggest blow to Manchester story since Bez last rang his dealer. Let's see, Gazzetta de la Sport in Italy, City and United, Manchester has disappeared. In France, Man United, it's an enormous bum note. A pretty mixed team, they sniff, has finally got what they deserve. The Spanish had to neglect the obvious Estrella Dam headlines, but uh, go with a bombazo. City and United get eliminated. Marca, meanwhile, have tears in Manchester, but it's made the Europa League a lot more exciting or rendered completely irrelevant everything that's happened in it until now, you might think. At La Repubblica, back in Italy, the great crack of Manchester, the great collapse of Manchester. Basel were wearing the same colour shirts as Barcelona, says the paper. Maybe United got scared. Well, the Italians, of course, in an especially chipper mood this week after Napoli's success at Villarreal sent them through to the knockout round alongside Inter and Milan. Nap ole, as the Gazetta hailed this achievement. Uh, Napoli moving into the last 16 in their debut Champions League campaign, of course. La Repubblica. It's Christmas in the Champions League. The paper making a little tribute here to the terrifically entertaining Christmas Inn comedies that Napoli owner and top B-Day advocate Aurelio De Laurentiis churns out at this time of year. Says the paper, they talk of crisis overseas, but for the eighth season in a row, three Serie A teams go through to the knockout stages. Well, enjoy it while it lasts. Now, surprising as events elsewhere in the Champions League were this week, probably the biggest miracle of all happened over in Group D. Coming into the round, you'll recall, Ajax and Lyon were rivals for second spot, with the Dutch three points clear of Lyon and with a goal difference that was seven better. Nailed on for the knockouts, you'd think except they weren't. Two wrongly disallowed goals for the Dutch against Real Madrid were followed by Lyon, who had been trailing 1-0 in Zagreb at halftime, suddenly notching up seven goals in 30 minutes, having scored just two in the previous five matches. Through go Lyon then, it is a miracle, say Lakeith. We'd never have expected this. No kidding. Not everybody, though, quite caught up in this fairy tale. Gazeta de la Sport, for example, say it's a farce. If we were UEFA, we'd take a very close look at this. And they quote the old Italian proverb, it may be sinful to assume the worst, but it saves you plenty of time. Equally suspicious were the Spanish. It's almost like they have a culture of this kind of thing. Ass in Madrid. This game was muddied by doubts, they say. Something strange happened in the interval. While Sport over in Catalonia point out that Ajax Real Madrid had a Portuguese referee. And his errors lend weight to those who claim Mourinho's pressure on UEFA is paying off. I should have known he'd be involved. Worth mentioning amongst all this that the Dutch themselves steer clear of all the conspiracy talk. De Volkkrant just go with Ajax have a dramatic day and talk about an indescribable sadness. The Telegraph, meantime, the headline here, the nightmare has arrived. Uh, confusingly, this right under a picture of Louis van Gaal at an airport. Van Gaal, you might have been following this story, arriving to take up his new position as a director at Ajax, but only if Johan Cruyff doesn't get there first, because Cruyff, who is himself a director at the club, uh, took in, the, in a rare instance of Dutch infighting the unusual step this week of suing his fellow board members to try and stop them hiring van Gaal, who responds, but I haven't even started yet. Well, to finish off, one other bit of angry people news. Gazetta de la Sport reporting this week that Milan Tevez, the deal is done. 
although the club admit underneath we haven't actually spoken to Man City yet. Milan, though, have sent a bid to City for a loan deal with an option to buy for 28 million euros come the summer, or three bags of spuds, whatever's worth more by then. So, to sum up, no deal yet, but it's warming up and should soon be on, which is ironic, really, because that's where Tevez's problems all started. Well, more on that uh, story next week, perhaps. For now, that's it for our paper roundup. Thanks very much for stopping by, and we'll see you in seven.